Hello, welcome to Smartboard 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we've been focusing on how to add interactivity into your smart notebook lessons. Today, we're going to concentrate on how to use a ladybug document camera and our smart notebook software. Now, the first thing we need to do in order to get the two features to work together is we need to install the ladybug software. <clears throat> this software came with the actual ladybug in the package. Now, if for some reason that you're missing that software, don't worry. You can always go to Lumens USA and download it. And there's the website right there. It's tinyurl.com forward slash Lumen USA. And just scroll down and you'll see the different, uh, many different ladybugs that they have. And just simply download the software that's compatible to your ladybug that you may, may have in your classroom. Now, once that software is installed, there's one final simple step that we need to do. And of course, that's to go to actually physically connect our ladybug to our laptop. And that's simply done by using a simple USB connection. Now, mine happens to be this uh, brown uh, uh, beige color, but the Lumens actually comes with a black cable. And actually, Lumens has a 25-foot cable, so no matter where you're at, you can actually use that particular document camera. You're not limited to uh, using it right there in front, of your, in front of your class. So once you have those two pieces t connected, you have the the <coughs> document camera and you have the laptop connected and you have the software running, now we're ready to actually use them in conjunction with each other. So the first thing I'm going to need to do though is I need to turn on my Smart Notebook software. So I'm going to go to my, my Smart Board up here and I'm going to click on Smart Notebook 10. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open it up here in just a moment. And there it is. So I'm not quite ready yet to work on that because now the next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and turn on my Ladybug software. And so I happen to be, the way Ladybug works is it has a floating, um, let me start that again, D. Yeah, should I do that? Okay. So start from, let me close this up then, Ray. I'm going to close that up, okay. Okay. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start using the two pieces together. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on my Smart Notebook 10 software. Let's open up my Smart Notebook. But right now I'm quite not ready yet to actually use the Smart Notebook. The next thing I need to go ahead and do is I need to turn on my Ladybug software. Now what's really great about the Ladybug software is if you notice here on your laptop or on your, your desktop screen, you always have a floating toolbar of that ladybug. Now mine happens to be on the bottom right-hand side of my screen. So once I click on that, it's going to activate my ladybug. I'm going to click on that one more time. And there it is. I get a little went menu screen opens up. I'm going to move it around so you can kind of see it here if I can. And it's being a little fidgety today, and that's okay. I can always go back to my laptop and re-hit that and move it around. There I go, you can see a little bit better now. Now if you notice in the upper left hand corner, I have a magnifying glass with a piece of paper and it's kind of in that yellow, rustic yellow look. Once I click on that, it's going to go ahead and turn on my Ladybug software. So I'm going to go and click that on, my camera. And it takes a little while for it to process, but you can see it's coming up, it says Lumens. And there's my document, it's kind of autofocusing right now. And there it is. I now can go ahead and have my I'm now displaying my document on my smart board. Now the only thing is right now is the two are working, they're both on, but they're not actually talking to each other just yet. So my final step is, is I have to go back to my computer now and I need to put my smart notebook in the forefront and move the document camera to the back. In order for me to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on my Alt button on my keyboard. I'm going to click on Alt and then I'm going to click on my Tab button and as you see here, I get a little menu screen that pops open and it goes and I can keep clicking to find out what software I want to run. And so I'm going to tab it until I open and I see my smart notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and now that I'm on my smart notebook, I'm going to let go. And now I'm going to go ahead and use what's called the transparency feature. The transparency feature in smart notebook, what that allows it to happen is it turns this whole workspace environment in a transparency mode so I can go and see anything that's in the background on my either on my desktop or any other program that I want to be working with. 
But the other cool thing that it does, though, is it actually minimizes my toolbar so I have access to all these great tools in order for me to mark up my document. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on that icon. And the icon is going to be a computer monitor. And it has the white and gray checkerboard look to it. So once I click on that, it opens up the transparency feature. And now you can see I have my document now that I can work with. And I have my floating toolbar. And right now it's kind of in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just move it around. Since it is floating, I can move it anywhere I want. And so here, let's say I wanted to go and highlight something for my students to kind of show some emphasis for. So what I need to do is on my floating toolbar, I see three little square dots that opens up a menu screen. And I'm going to go to my pen. And I'm going to choose my green highlighter because I notice in classrooms the green works a little bit better than the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and I can now go and start highlighting words and things I wanted to go ahead and do. I'm a little bit off on my orientation, but that's OK. But you can go and see now how you can go and highlight. If I wanted to, if I wanted to circle certain words out or cross words out, I can just simply go here and grab another different pen. And I can go ahead and say, and just highlight or, or go ahead and circle different words I want to mark up my document. Now, I know right now that this is a reading document, but Let's say you had something you wanted to measure. Let's say you're in a math class. You wanted to measure something. Notice here you have access to all the different math tools. You have a, a ruler that you can use. You have a protractor that you can use. You have a compass. And so you have all these different tools that you can use. Now, let's say you were done with the actual uh, marking it up. If you wanted to, you could always grab the eraser, and you can erase all the different items that you had there. Now. Once you're done with this transparency mode, you simply click on the transparency icon again, and it brings you back to where you were. And right now, I cleared out my, my markups, but your markups would be displayed here. But you can just simply close that, that window up or that particular page, and you'll be done with actual uh, any markup that you may have. Or that you may have, excuse me. So I hope that you like this particular feature and want to use it in your classroom. I, I think it's very powerful. But this pretty much wraps up how to use the transparency feature and your document camera. Have a good day. Bye-bye.